gold traded bullish for the day and hit the high at close to 24.43.44 zone while silver is traded in range it has failed to break beyond 30.90 levels what to expect today with the US session where to enter where to exit how to profit everything we're gonna see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day those who had watched the first update must have already profited the subscribe and press the bell icon do like share and comment. join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver watch this gold on the early charts formed a base here at uh, 2420 earlier in the day i have mentioned it has formed a support here since then we have seen just trading in bull, uh, this bullish channel delivering higher lows and higher highs now the support levels here at 20 436 35 is going to remain strong and once you see it is staying below 24 36 35 we can expect it to move towards 24 30 28 levels very very good support there then 24 25 and then 24 20 only below 24 20 you can say that it is turned there else it is still not bearish here moving averages are trading with divergence looking upwards stock i stick is overbought magd if you look at on the early charts this is divergent trading bullish looking upwards rsi is also staying in the overbought zone on the two similar observation here on the two hour charts higher lows higher highs are getting created if you connect the dots the highs here are at 2445 and then on the upside now 2450 levels are going to be the next milestones so if you see a uh, gold trading about 2445 you can take a buying entry here and expect it to move towards 2450 levels first target and beyond 2450 is where you can say that it has turned bullish and we will look forward to the critical resistance zone at 24 55 and 60. see too much of divergence here from the moving average calls for it to converge remember if it reverses from the current levels the fall is going to be equally sharp what has happened here can get replicated here so i will watch out how it behaves at around 24 45 levels stock elastic is overbought macd is divergent macd is bullish looking upwards rsi is overbought as well on the three r charts the observation is similar on the three r charts higher lows here thus we need to wait here for 24 36 34 zone to breach and once it drops below this you can expect 24 30 24 28 levels first target 24 25 and 24 20 at the next till then do not treat this as bearish i can also see something like this is rise retracement rise retracement 20 period and now it has seen a good rise a retracement towards 20 period means a possible move towards 24 20 can be expected if it continues to drop right now it is not showing any signs of a reversal as of now the stock is rising macd is also rising rsi is overbought here on the four hour, the observation is more or less same on the four hour charts nothing different here we have to wait for it to break below these critical levels for the day only below 24 20 we can say that gold is turning bearish else do not trade this as bearish also if you look at it has formed a good base here from the 20 period moving average and showing the rise now divide this into two halves and you can see what it has done higher highs here what you can see here is a retracement towards 20 period which is possible the stock is rising macd rising rsi rising here coming to daily before we look into daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram write an email or ping me on telegram for your queries related to the services well join the free telegram channel and those who had asked me to recommend a broker where you can trade all the global instruments which offers a swap free account with the lowest spreads and no hidden charges you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now see what we yesterday is a bullish candle here and since then we have now seen it delivering higher lows higher highs though it is still confining its movement within the zone but yes it is trading with the bullish bias here as of now for gold to turn bearish for the day it needs to drop below 24 20 which is going to be one critical milestone for it to breach pass by if you look at the moment now the moving averages are uh, divergent the moving averages are bullish and looking up also now it is very much near to all time high levels the record high levels it is very much nearby to it so i will wait if it breaks beyond this that is 2450 we can say more bullish momentum can be expected but again uh, as we have discussed in our weekly review as well 2455 60 is going to be one critical milestone stock has take over bought macd rising rsi rising looking at this i will recommend you to buy now gold at 2445 where you can expect it to move towards 2450 55 60 and once it breaks beyond 2460 you can say that gold is turning bullish on the downside i will recommend a selling entry now at 24 
35 levels where you can expect it to move towards 24 30 28 first target zone 24 25 24 20 at the next once it draws below 24 20 you can say a sharper correction is what you can expect here where we can look forward to 2400 and below levels though right now it is not signaling any such sharper move so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at silver silver on the early charts as you've seen earlier the drop here and it is confining its movement within this box now on the upside 31 31 20 is a critical resistance you have seen that earlier and on the downside 30 40 30 60 is a critical support as well right now it is confining its movement within the zone uh, look at the swings here and yet again it is trying to stay within the zone if you look at on the upside i had asked you that once you see the lower price above 3090, you can possibly take a buying entry. So far for the day, it is beautifully respected that le entry level. Because even if it breaks this, you can expect 31, 31, 10, 31, 20 as a greater resistance levels. Moving averages have started to converge, but not yet crossed over. RSI stock high stick rising, MACD rising, RSI rising here. Coming to two R on the two R charts, what has happened? See higher highs are seen here. Look at the swings here one greener then red then green then red then green now ideally if you go by the symmetry it has to be a red candle which which has to be a sharp reversal candle and if it reverses and trades below 3075 levels uh, where you see the higher prices below 3075 we can possibly take a selling entry but remember it is getting extremely extremely good support here at 3060 30 40 zone so if you are selling at 3075 and that too I am again repeating 3075 that is excluding the spreads. So the higher prices has to be below 3075 in order to confirm a reversal and then we can expect it to move towards 3060 and in fact below 3060 you can expect it to move towards 3040 levels. The stock stick is rising here. Um, the stock stick is overbought here. MACD is rising. RSI is running flat. Coming to 3R. On the 3 hour chart, similarly higher highs, it has achieved the median year support levels here at 3080, very, very strong. These were the resistances earlier. Greener candles with modest bullish body here. If it reverses what we have seen here, see this. If it reverses from here, we can expect it to move towards 3060. And below 3060, a sharper, sharper correction can be expected. Right now, it is not in that correction zone. It is trading sideways. Stock elastic rising. See, the MACD has crossed over here. This is a bullish sign. So, again, looking at this, see if you see the lower price of silver staying above 3090, you can initiate a buying position here. Expect 31, 31, 10, 31, 20 levels. RSI remaining flat. Coming to 4 hour charts. On the 4 hour charts, similar observation, higher highs. Look at the preceding candle comes with bigger tails. So, couple of possibilities that first it breaks beyond 39. 90 levels and 31 dollar levels that will confirm a stronger rise which can in fact take it towards 31 10 31 20 so this time if it stays above in fact 30 95 31 levels you can say we can look forward to a stronger rise because it has formed a stronger base here second point here to look at here is drop retracement drop retracement and this time if it breaches below 30 60 we can look forward to a sharper correction here stochastic rising MACD is on the verge of a crossover it is not yet crossed over RSI running flat coming to daily you see on the daily charts what we have seen so far is higher lows here also preceding candle after a couple of red candles could be one of the reversal confirmation here only bearishness in silver is if you see it is staying below 30 60 30 40 zone which is going to remain one prime resistance zone for silver for the day because below that we are looking forward to a sharper correction which can take it towards 30 20 and 30 dollar levels yes it is very much possible it has formed a tail on the preceding candle prices failed to stay bullish it could reverse and continue on the downside breaking sharply be watchful of this right now it is staying in the box not willing to break here stock stick has dropped to bottom macd is in green trying to converge crossover rsi is rising looking at this what i'll recommend is to First, buy at around 30.90, $31 levels, very, very good resistance here. Beyond this, you have to be still very much cautious and alert for 31.10, 31.20. Once silver stays above 31.20, we can say that the bulls are taking over. Then you can look forward to 31.40.50. And if it breaks beyond 31.40.50, it's stable. We can look forward to 31.75.80 and in fact, $32 levels. Uh, looking at the momentum right now in silver, it appears difficult for it to hit that zone today. On the downside, a selling entry now I will recommend is at 30, uh, 75. When you see the 
higher price is below 30, 75, 30, 70. You can take a sell entry. Remember this fact that 30, 60 is going to be one prime support level for silver for the day. 30, 60, 30, 50, 30, 40. Any point of time, silver trades below 3040, stay bearish. We are looking forward to a drop towards 3020 and $30 levels. And in fact, it can reach below 30. Take your positions accordingly. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship badge. Join my signals channel. Reach out to me for your queries. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do not miss to watch every day the first update with the Asia and Europe session. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.